Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Pocket Fire Emblem The Sacred Stones for the Game Boy Advance. This will be part 20 of our Let's Play. In the last episode, we did a bit of a redo of this chapter, but this time we got Renek for free! So... It's, it's kind of infinitely better. Um, we got about halfway through this chapter. well, I say halfway. We're, we're pretty much through this chapter. We got halfway through our turn, is what I was gonna say. Uh, before we sort of packed it in, in the last episode. So, we're just going to finish off this one. It shouldn't take too long, really. The real danger is going to be if Renak doesn't get back to... Oh yeah, we already moved Renak. That's what we did at the end of the last turn. If Renak doesn't manage to get back to uh, do this do this stuff down here, like unlock these chests, before we manage to kill the boss. Because on one hand, I kind of don't want to slow down, so I don't want to, like, delay. You know, if he makes it, he makes it. Otherwise, rip. Uh, but yeah, we have two chests down there to open. Pretty sure that's it. So we'll just start moving through. Now, Naomi should be able to hold this corridor, even against spear wielders. She is a promote, so she should be fine. Although, obviously, it would have been better if she didn't kill them. <laughs> Because then she'd only have to fight one, because she doesn't do quite enough damage to kill one. Oh well, heavy spear. That can go on the box. God, I wish they all used heavy spears though. They're so easy to dodge, because they're so slow. <laughs> Good luck with that. Sorry, you can't see it, I'm giving like the, the thumbs up. Ooh, hello. Hello, my little, little children. Alright, well, we might as well just dispose of the, these guys in the way that uh, the two characters love best. Which is... oh wow. She actually won't be able to kill this one with a bow, unless she gets a crit. She didn't. Shame. Real shame. But uh, yeah, obviously it would be bows and light magic. Ah, she got some experience, she got a level out of it. That's all that really matters. Plus, Seth can finish him off. Bonk. In fact, I'm going to move you back this way. You and can't get up there. Guess Natasha will just have to kill him. Just... Boom. Done. Easy. No further questions. Uh, Ewan, you can probably go tussle with these Dark Mages though, can't you? You'll be alright with that. Mm, the fact that Cormag only has the Dark Lance is a little bit annoying. How far can you guys go? That was Renak. Ugh, level 1 rogue. That's a rogue in this one, not a trickster, sorry. That's what it is. Trickster, I think, is in the... It's in Awakening, I think. Okay, well, we'll just... We'll just be safe. I don't think they'd be able to kill Renak, but... Best not to find out. Now... That was a move, my little soldier friend. Well, my fighter friend. Unfortunately, it was not the correct one. Targeting Naomi probably would have been a better choice. At least she wouldn't fight back. Wow, magic plus one. Ugh. Oh wow, they're actually like... coming out of here properly. Alright. Ugh. Like, the slowest battle though. This is so slow. <laughs> Thank you. Brought to you by the shamans. They are just so bad. Okay, we've got to keep Seth and Erica next to each other so they keep getting support points. And now we'll be able to see how much damage Renak can actually do. Oops, that's not mine. That's mine. 
Okay, so he's only going to take three, so he will actually be just fine. In fact, he'll manage to get a little bit of XP as well, which is something he sort of needs. Unlike Amelia, I don't believe I will train Renak, uh, Renak like at all. He's just kind of there as a utility character. He's never going to be one of the combat people. Nah, you guys can try and kill Naomi, you won't manage. Do do do. Make sure Lara Shell can't get attacked. Okay. We're pretty much sorted. I probably could have sent uh, Cormag up to get Renak. And it would have, you know, not taken half as long. But, uh, whatever. Renak needs the exercise. He probably hasn't done any hard work for a while. <laughs> oh, he must have broke it. Yeah. I was like, what? Every time. You can always pick it, because it's like... Well, why isn't there two attacks? Uh, right, makes sense. Right. Ranak, well done. You just sort of rushed in there and killed him. Everyone else did 99% of the work. Oh, you have to seize the throne, don't we? Uh, in that case, we're actually going to run Erica up here. Because, yeah, I just remember that we actually need to, like, take it. Oh, and of course, I need Joshua up here, because he's going to be my my duelist. I've been slacking off. Ah, uh, we're getting Amy to do it. Use the short bow, you need to get rid of it. You need to break it. We'll see how Joshua will go against, uh... I don't remember his name. I should. Against the boss character. What's his name? Carlisle, that's right. Yeah, we'll send... We'll send Joshua up there and just see how he does. Uh, I mean, hopefully he'll do really well, but... You know, I kind of doubt it. I, I might be able to give him a killing edge. And that might be enough to make the difference. Or maybe I should also send Cormag up there. Because, uh... He does have a killer lance, so he's got like the lance weapon triangle advantage, and it's a killer weapon, so the chance that you'll just get an instant crit and just kill is pretty high. I think that might be the plan. Okay, we'll keep moving through this. How much damage are you actually going to take here? Yeah, like six. Oh, he's going to do zero to me. Wow, so I can just win this with Arta. That's kind of depressing. What about you? Yeah, because the Wind Sword's like a magic attack. Yeah, I think so. I think it is a magic attack. Alright, so we're going to see if the secret shop is up in this corner. And if it is, I don't really remember what we want. No, okay, you guys have to move. I really don't want to slow Renak down at all. Alright, here comes my hero. Ooh, nice. Okay, cool. You can move far enough. You're still blocked by Ewan. Ewan, just go this way. And Cormag, you need to flap around. As my backup plan. I'll just keep skipping turns sort of as quick as I can. Ha! There it is. The secret shop's there. Sorry, before I forget, I'm going to move Erica. Now, what do we even want from the secret shop? I know we wanted some crests, but what were those crests? Because I know we got one hero crest. Someone's got that. Or do we send it to the box? Might have sent it to the box. So someone's got a hero crest. So, because who do we have to level up? Kyle? Uh, Amelia. Ewan's got a thing. Kyle, Amelia, Garrick. Ross. Kyle, Amelia, Garrick, Ross. Kyle, Amelia, Garrick, Ross. There's someone else. Oh, loot. Okay. 
Loot's got a guiding ring. Garrick doesn't have a hero crest, but we pick one up. Ross needs a hero crest. Okay, so we should just see what we can get. Ooh. Ooh, fancy. Ah, yeah, see? We can get an ocean seal. Thieves and pirates. We don't have any of those. Silver blade's pretty tempting, though. Or a killing edge. We could just buy a killing edge here. Um, okay. We don't have an archer that needs to level up, do we? So what do we need? Like, another hero crest, mainly. Because they're ten grand each, which is steep as. Ooh, and a lockpick, actually. I think the hero crest. Because, like, we really want... Okay, we're gonna buy a killing edge. Oops, sorry. Thank you. We really want... Like, Garrick and Ross leveled up. If we can't get, you know, like, uh, what's his name, Kyle leveled up or loot, they're still going to be really useful, but Ross and Garrick become crazy potent when you level them up. I like the happy music that just stops and starts all the time. I just want to rescue him and fly in this way, since you're going to the same place. Yeah, like, I'm literally just moving these two the whole time. <laughs> These, these two little groups of people. I should have thought about this before. Like, I forgot that it was a seized throne, so Erica actually had to be there. Eh. Okay, we can just drop Erica off here. That'll be okay. Oh, shit, actually, we still need Renak to uh, do his thing. Crap, I've forgotten about that. I've been wasting so much time. Oh, I don't think Cormag and that are going to get there in time anyway. Like, I think Renak will still have time. Without slowing down our turns. Let's have a look. Because, yeah, he's not going to make it this turn. He, I can probably drop him off next turn. I'll just move Erica over here. Like that. Oh, I had the support option. I should have done that. That's fine. Okay, so we can fly Cormac here, flap him over here. Boom. And Renak can open one this turn, then open one the next turn. So, uh, pick. Dragon Spear. So that's a spear that's good against Wyverns? Yeah. Okay, not what I would call the most useful thing. How is Joshua going to take this? Pretty poorly. What about you? Ah! So the Windsword does have an advantage against y uh, Flyers, I believe. Okay, well I wanted Joshua to be the one to take this. But I don't really want to risk a crit that will one-hit kill him. So I think... We will probably just use Arta. <laughs> yeah. Now that feels pretty good. I... I just wanted the two of us. Nope, you get nothing. Oh wow, it's only 47 to hit. <coughs> this is gonna be a slow battle. Fair enough. Fair enough. Natasha probably would have been a better choice. But there's really not much time to run her all the way around. Ah, what the hell. But yeah, I kind of figured Korma- I kind of figured the Windsword might do a thing for Flyers. I just wasn't sure. Oh my god, is he going to heal on the throne? No. Because it's not a fort. Or like a gate or something. Right? He's not going to heal on the throne, is he? No, okay. It doesn't seem to. Just please break this wall down. I, I don't want to spend 20 minutes on this. Here. Oh, I put it in supply. Of course I did. Uh, which is pretty easy to fix. Here, take this lockpick. Give me the door key. Okay, we'll support Seth. Seth, what brings you, princess? How fair you, Seth. Ever since the castle fell, you've been protecting me, despite your own injuries. Would that that could have served you better, my lady. You were not meant to see such things. My wound is closed up, and it does not affect my lance arm. Wait, show it to me. 
Look, the wound is closed, but it has not yet fully healed. What made you think of this, my lady? Your fighting is as superb as ever. <laughs> yeah, the one time he's fought. But when you raise your lance, I see a flicker of pain on your face. As if you were merely enduring it. But it only lasts a moment. Perhaps it's all just my imagination. Your Highness, please put your mind at ease. My wound is healed. There is no reason to worry. Would that were so, Seth. Please do not overextend yourself. I beg this of you. Without you, I may not be able to continue this quest. You praise me too much, my lady. Boom. It's just that easy. And such is how a romance begins. Alright. Arta. Have at it. And Carlisle, you just... You just keep trying, hey? You just... Keep hitting me with that zero damage. I believe in you. An energy ring increases strength or magic? Yeah. Depending on who it's given to. So like, for mages it increases magic. For soldiers it increases strength. He does heal on the throne. That's a bit more of a pain in the old butthole. Because now unless Arta is hitting with like both of these, it's going to be very slow progress. Oh my god. Slow but safe. Okay, do you just want to go grab that killing edge, please? Oh, I didn't attack him, shit. Idiot. Idiot. Oh, uh, well, guys. Sorry, uh, buckle up. Oh my god, Arta, you hero. After I forgot to even get you to attack, and then you pop out two hits. That's incredible. Could Arthur just do it right here? Well, not here, but in the next one. Uh, no, he probably can't. Is, is Kong going to get hit as hard? I mean, he is, but he isn't going to get... Like, chance of his crit is much lower. Hmm, I am just kind of worried about Joshua. Keep trying. Although I guess I could kind of say the same. Alright, Arta, here we go. This turn, we're going to win. We're going to do it. We're going to wreck it. Let's go. Just hit right now. Okay. Don't take damage from this. Good job. Okay, yeah. Yeah. I sort of expected that. 71%? What if I do attack with Cormac? What's the chance of hit, though? 50. No. No, 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 no. That's not worth it. 60? Actually, that's not bad either. I should have had both of them on this. Well. <laughs> Queen Isma. I am... Yeah, now, now that you mention it, probably should have just had Naomi on that as well, considering she's going to take basically no damage. Okay, let's finish up this goddamn mission. This is as good a place as any. Alright, your majesty, hand over the sacred stone. I know nothing of the sacred stone's keeping place. Don't waste my time. My partner here sees everything. When the rebellion began, you went straight to the palace altar. You had hoped to prevent us from smashing the sacred stone. But you have the Stone of Jahana with you right now, don't you? Hand it over. Cooperate and I'll let you live. I cannot. Oh, give it up, will you? I've no time for games. If you resist, I'll just kill you and take it anyway. H hold. You mustn't harm her, Kalik. Shut up, Prince. My orders come from higher than you. You're not going to start disobeying his word, are you? Last chance. Give me your sacred stone. I cannot. Ha <laughs> ha! A queen to the end. I like you. You've got guts. Goodbye. Ah! Yep, she's like super dead. And here's the sacred stone. That makes two for me. I'm on a roll now.
and another sacred stone has been destroyed. Grado, Frelia, and now Jehana. Only two stones remain. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, what should I do? Kalik, you must help her. Leave her. Let her last breath be a harsh and ragged rasp. She's not long for this world. Why, if you really wanted to help her, you'd deliver the final blow yourself. No, I, I couldn't. What a joke. I have little work to wrap up in the hall before we leave. You should hit the road pretty soon too, Prince. I wonder where Queen Ishmael is. I heard she was in the throne room, but there's no sign of her. And there's no sacred stone either. We must search quickly. Ah! Uh, lion! Erica. Wait, Lion, don't run away! My brother and I have been so worried about you. We know more than anyone the gentleness of your spirit. Your father is deranged, isn't he? That's why Grotto invaded Rene, right? Tell me, Lion, please. Tell me what has happened. I'm sorry, Erica. I wanted to see you and Ephraim for so long now. I wanted to see you so that I could apologize. The invasion of Rene. I couldn't stop it. I'm sorry, but I still cannot talk to you. Not yet. You... you have a reason, don't you? Mm hmm. We can't talk about it now, but... I promise I will tell you everything someday. I see. I believe you, Lion. I must tell you, I'm a little relieved. I was afraid you changed as much as your poor father has. I'm so glad. Me too, Erica. No, you have changed. You're even more beautiful than you were before. Look, Lion? I'm sorry, I have to go. But please remember this. This war started because I was too weak to stop it, but... I'll always be your friend. Lion. Erica, what are you doing? It seems Queen Ishma has been found. This way. Y yes, coming. Queen Ishma. Is she... We are too late. Her injuries are... She will not last much longer. Jo Joshua. Joshua. Queen Ishma. Oh, Joshua. Where is that boy? Queen Ishma. Please forgive me, Joshua. I was a foolish mother. I was so intent on being queen that I spared no time to be your mother. But I loved you nonetheless. Please understand. I know, mother. Joshua? Joshua. It really is you. Joshua, my son. I'm sorry, mother. I should never have left you. I have no excuse. I wanted to see the world as a man, not as a prince. I wanted to be worthy. I plan on returning to your side afterward. I was so foolish. If I'd been here, I could have... No, it's fine. You're here now. Listen to me, Joshua. The Stone of Johanna has been destroyed. The one who tempted Carlisle was responsible. What? Who was it? I carried a dark stone. It is the origin of all this. It should not exist. Joshua, you must... Our country, our people. I understand, Mother. Thank you, Joshua. I have something. Something I must give you. This is... It's one of the sacred twin relics unique to House Jehanna. He who would rule our land must possess it. I watched over it since your father passed away. I kept it safe and waited for this day to come. Mother, I have it now. I understand its meaning. Joshua, I did- oh my god, okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and skip that. Um, it goes for ages, apparently. So we have the two twin relics of Jehanna. So we have Adulma, the sacred sword, or sacred twin ice blade. And we have Excalibur, the Sacred Twin Tome. Which you'll notice, Excalibur was just a spell in the previous game. Whereas in this one, it's like a special once-in-a-lifetime thing. It's been more than ten years. I've grown tired of the formality of palace life, so I just left. I wrote a farewell and left the palace, taking nothing with me. I felt I could never understand the people while I stayed sequestered in a castle. I abandoned my identity and roamed the continent, working where I could. 
I wanted only to be worthy of becoming king. I knew one day I would return. Gods, I was so foolish. I was such a child, I see it now. Was I simply rebelling against my mother, punishing her for tending to her duties? I was a fool, yes, but I learned much over these ten years. I have learned about the hearts of our people, how they need to be governed. I have learned how our country needs to change and to grow. I have learned much, but I have lost much more. Mother. Prince Joshua. I made a promise. I want to continue what she began. I will help defeat Grado. I will defend Johanna and her allies. I know it doesn't sound like me, but... On behalf of Freely, I came to Johanna with a letter to the throne. I give it to you. Prince Joshua of Johanna, let us fight together. Rene, Freelia, Ralston, and Johanna. Four nations united. Yes, I suppose that's true. My brother is with us as well. And if it were possible... Lion, I wish you could be here with us too. Fire! Fires have broken out all through the hall! What? Curtains were soaked in oil! The torches set about the hall. It's a trap! <laughs> wow, I nearly... I almost did it properly. Oh, it's a trap! <clears throat> Someone did this during all the fighting. You must flee, quickly, before the flames engulf us all. Princess Erica, we must evacuate. I know. Joshua, we must go, now. No. Mother, forgive me. Is everyone well? Did anyone get left behind? We all made it. It's so smoky that it's hard to tell, but we're here. What a cowardly act, setting fire to the palace hall. But we've escaped without injury. The enemy's trap has failed. No, it hasn't. Assemble the troops now. The enemy is coming. What did you say? This is the reason for the fire. To drive us from the palace. We'll be attacking soon. No well, other plan makes sense. How is it that you know that? Princess Erica, I've just received word that Grado reinforcements are headed this way. There are two armies led by Generals Valta and Kalik. No. Two armies. They're willing to send so many here and leave the capital defenseless. Why does everyone seem so distraught? It matters not who stands in our path. We shall smite them all with the power of righteousness. Princess Erica, it's going to be very difficult for us to continue. One of Grado's generals alone is more than a match for us. Compound that with the exhaustion of our troops, I'm not sure we can... Bah. With Johanna Hall in flames, we've no place to hole up and dig in for a siege. We have to retreat. We have to win ourselves time to form a plan. Grado sent two generals. What could be happening in their capital? And what of Ephraim? Is he still alive? Brother. Boom, I think we go straight into it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we do. We don't get a break here. We just go straight to the next one. Yeah, there we go. Princess Erica, are you well? Princess Erica. Oh, Seth. Yes, it's me. Please, you must rest. If we continue like this, you'll... No, it's alright. We're all suffering. We're still completely surrounded by Grado's armies. We may all die at any moment. I can't lose focus now. Has anything changed? Unfortunately, no. On every front, our forces meet with defeat upon defeat. Ralston's knights are scattered and worn, and the enemy is closing in around them. And there's accursed sand. Most of the units can't get proper footing and are being slowed down. Mounted units are having the worst time as their movement is severely limited. Princess Erica, I ask that you leave for safety. We'll use flying units and magic users to hold the foe here. No, I will not retreat. If I give up now, my brother would not forgive me. And the Princess of Rene will fight, either to victory or to death. Brother, I... Valta, you should stop playing around. If you don't finish off Erica's forces swiftly, her brother's left the capital. He should be arriving here shortly. We don't want to be fighting her still when he arrives, trust me. We are equals here in Grado's army. Would you like me to assist? All you need to do is vanish, you disgusting old man. Erica is mine, and I won't let you have her. She is so strong, so beautiful. She's the prey I've dreamed of. <laughs> Your fangs are still sharp, eh? Good, very good. Ah, Valter, you're a beast. You're bound to no country. You care nothing for friend or foe. 
Kill a man, claim a woman. You live for nothing more, you wretched beast. That's your strength. That's what makes you stronger than any man alive. A beast acts without remorse. Man's morality cannot win. It's nature's way. The stage is all yours, Valtar. Do not fail to get the girl's bracelet. Our master demands it. The time is nigh, Erica. Come to me. Boom, here we go. So we've probably got just enough time to sort out some... Some peeps and jump in. So we're actually going to do some Cormag versus Volta action, but... I don't know if Volta's going to... Or if Cormag's going to win that. He's level 13. I know I wanted the duel of the century between Volta and Cormag, but... I think Cormag needed a bit more training before that's an option. And we have Kaelic here too. And I feel like it's only appropriate for... Joshua to take out Kaelic, right? And Joshua, on the other hand, may actually be good enough to pull it off, so... We'll bring in all the champions. Probably don't need Colm. I don't think there's any... There wouldn't be any treasure chests on this map. No. And there's lots of flyers, so Naomi is a must. You and we might give a skip here, because this is going to be a hard mission, so I think we might actually just send the experts... Oh, we didn't buy a Night Crest for Amelia. That's what we should have done. We'll bring Cormag. Bring Vanessa. Bring Loot. Bring Garrick. Bring Ross. That's who I was thinking of. It was Amelia. Because we needed ones for... Yeah. Loot, Garrick, Ross, Kyle, and Amelia. Oh no, I did say those. I just forgot that Amelia needed a Knight Crest, not a Hero Crest. Shit. Oh well, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, who, do we, who else do we bring, even? We sort of have one slot left that I don't know who to bring. Because we are bringing Seth, aren't we? Yeah. He's kind of the only one I dom. I just bring Ford. Maybe we do bring Ewan. We can probably protect him. Uh, you probably want another thing. We're actually running low on funding because of our purchase. Uh, you're fine. You'll just use Shine. That needs to go into Supply. Is there a bow in here? Yeah, nice steel bow. That works. We might even leave you with Hadulma. It is going to be very useful towards the end of the game, but I th think it's not awful for you to just have it now. Wow, we have so many lances. Do you want to take one of these just, like, somethings? Ooh, actually a brave lance could help even the odds. So we'll just give you that and, like, a, I don't know, horse slayer, sure. And you know what? And a heavy spear. We just want to make sure you don't run out of stuff. Um, you're okay. Ross, you can put that Steel Lance away. Take a Killer Axe, I think. And we will also give you... Hero Crest! Ah, uh, okay. Actually, Ewan, you trade with Loot. Give her the Guiding Ring, since you have no chance of getting it at the moment. And Garrick, you also need to take a Hero Crest. We don't have any other promotion items. And just as an, like, oh, actually, you probably have to buy something. Okay, so let's do some promotes, which was, oh, the bottom three, handy. Okay, boom, Ross levels up into either a hero or a warrior. Now, Garrick is going to be a hero, so I think warrior is the way to go. And, you know, Ross is a pretty bulky kid. Like, I couldn't picture him being, like, the gallant hero, but he's, like, a big strong warrior. Which lets him use bows, right? Oh, look at that. Didn't upgrade speed. Yeah, okay, so you can use bows now. Excellent. And again, it's a nice utility class. Like, don't get me wrong. Hero is a good utility class as well, but there's utility of being able to use different weapons, and there's utility of being able to um, 
sorry, being able to use like different melee weapons and has utility of being able to attack at range now, which is pretty big. Okay, loot. You are going to level up in two. We can make her a sage or a mage knight. Now, I feel like we have enough sages. Right? Animal light and staves is a pretty good combo. But mage knight. So anima and staves. It's effectively... Um... Effectively a Valkyrie, but with Anima Magic instead. And more people with staves is kind of more good, because it's just a lot of healing you can get out there. Although, I don't often make her a Sage. You know what? We will make her a Sage this time, I think. I think we will. Plus, I kind of like the look of her as a Sage. Because we're probably not going to use Sale. Much as I keep saying like we have enough Sages because we have Sale. Uh, because he's a pre-promote, not that good. This does mean you're going to have to get some light magic out. Which doesn't seem good. And we don't have that much money, actually. Is there anything in supply we can just get rid of that we just don't want? I think there is. And we'll sort that out in a minute. So, Garrick, obviously. We can make him a hero or a ranger. Um, hero. No, no question. Rangers are good. Like, I, rangers are an excellent promote for an archer. But for a mercenary, I wouldn't say so. Like, not, not as much. Considering mercenary is like, hero, who is a, an amazing, just like, general fighter. Versus a ranger, who is also pretty good at fighting but not as just generically tanky as a hero. Okay, now I just want to get like, maybe Tethys. To just grab a whole bunch of this stuff we don't need. Like pure waters, I never use them, I always forget. And we'll actually take a restore. Does barrier do? Magic resistance? Nah. Restore is handy. And we might be able to get, like, enough money... Eh, we'll sell an elixir as well. Might be able to get enough money to grab some of these iron weapons we need. Oh yeah, we definitely can. Okay, so who needs what? Loot needs... Oops. Loot needs light magic. And a healing star. Ross, you have a bow. Garrick, you have an axe. You don't need a heal. You're fine, you're fine, you're fine. You've got stuff, you've got all the weapons in the world. Seth's fine, Cormag's fine, you're fine. Okay! I think we're good to go. There could be losses in this one. Um, this is probably one of the harder missions in, in the game. Which sucks, so... Joshua versus Kalik is happening. I think if I give Joshua a Dulma, he should just carve up Kaelic. Like, Kaelic should have no real leg to stand on. Like, he's using axes as well, so Joshua's just gonna absolutely butcher him. Um, Volta, bit trickier. I don't think Cormag can take him. I don't know. I don't know. But we are gonna leave this episode here, so we are ready to go. As soon as we get in for the next episode, we will start this mission. So, guys, thank you very much, everyone, for watching. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you want to see more content from me, the Aussie Nerd, feel free to subscribe to my channel and check out the other videos on there. If you think you know any friends who might enjoy my content, make sure you share a video or two with them. I really appreciate it. And finally, if you want to leave any hints, tips, tricks, feedback from videos, or you just want to say hi, make sure you do so in the comment section down below so I can see it. I'll see all of you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.